Okay, so today is day 143 and I'm gonna go check on the girls. We are definitely getting closer and I've been seeing a few things that might mean something, maybe not, but some behavior changes and I'm gonna show you how they look like. The Duke and Clara. They bonded even more than Clara with her girls. They spent so much time together. And Clara is so tired. So Mocha is looking a little bit hollow on the hips. I don't know if you can see it there in a little bit. Closer to the tailbone. But she still they can still feel babies. I read that they sh this should be so hard that you can't feel babies when they're getting close. And Annabelle, she's looking a little bit more hollow. I don't know if you can see, but right here, can you see? How that is very... And Annabelle's ligaments are super soft. She's also very, um, she started to get a little bit more vocal, but she is a very vocal girl too. Now as far as the babies, I've been trying to feel for babies and see right now they're moving. I have to push really hard. See, um, that's her belly and then me pushing. See, I can feel a hoof here. But, and I assume it's a hoof because it's something that is kind of sticking out. Um, but I think she's getting very, very close. I don't see anything coming out. <sighs> but a bunch of goats that need love, lots of love. And Mocha's ligaments are soft, but they're not as soft as Annabelle's and can you see how she started to look a little bit well this is the left side but look it's hollow here now what I think I it would concern me a little bit more is if this was hard because I read in many books that it would eventually feel hard but right now I don't know if you can see that you can push and it moves whereas on this side look it's hard okay? but still I don't know how like right now I'm feeling babies down here or a baby Duke you're so sweet you're a baby too but you're an older baby now there are gonna be new babies around but look kind of leaning against my leg and I don't think she's in labor and she might not even go first but I think that she knows that something is up something is bothering her and she just needs comforting um, but look at I mean, look at this. See how they dropped? Well, this was kind of full a couple days ago, if you remember. Oh my goodness, you're such a weirdo. So I don't know. I can kind of feel them, but I can feel them lower right now. And I'm saying I can feel the hardness of, you know, you can tell that it's a baby. What is it, mama? You feel weird? I mean, children sometimes feel a little weird. So they might go to day 145, they might go to day 150, I don't know. But I think their bodies are going through the process 
and so they are changing their behaviors like Annabelle is not as worried about everyone else she's kind of um, laying down uh, she likes to go into that kind of dusty corner when I stop petting her she'll cry so if I had to guess I'd say Annabelle will go first because of how she is acting very different maybe it will take her you know longer to go through the process stop chewing on my camera Duke but maybe she you know I don't know do you see anything different see? she doesn't even look wide anymore I think the babies are dropping they should be on this side and I've shown you Annabelle from the top many many times but she's such a needy baby such a needy oi oi don't be bothering her because she's also a very cute bully. Hi, what a bully. I think she knows something's up. Now, on Mocha, I don't see any discharge either. I don't see anything going on. But she's very sweet. And she's always wanting to get pets and stay with you. And she's been a little bit, you know, needy, but not as much. Like she will let me check her ligaments, touch her belly. She's being bothered by flies. But she's not. I mean, she's. Okay, she's. I don't know. She, she's just not the same. So I assume that what it means is that they're getting closer. Is that what it means? Is that what it means, rocks? Is that what you mean, boy? You have. <coughs> their duck friends sleeping under the bunny hutch <laughs> we got them drakes because they've been wanting to hatch their own babies and then they stopped laying eggs and now it seems like they're starting to lay again oh Annabelle doesn't want me to care about the ducks at this point I'm sorry mama <sighs> I'm gonna bring some more fly traps because I think they're being super annoying and annoying the heck out of you guys and I have some straw so we can put more clean bedding, okay? just in case okay, just in case, honey you're gonna be okay, mama I know what are you going on to, honey? She's wondering, mm. babies are going on to one. They're hanging out in the sun and I'm in the shade here in the back. So, but they can't take the curiosity. They're gonna come. Hi, what you guys doing? Oh, cute. You guys can come hang out with me if you want. But if you want to stay in the sun, you can stay in the sun too. Including you, Mr. Duke. Hi, baby. Hi, Dookie Duke. He loves scratches. Scratches, 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 scratches. Scratches, scratches, scratches. Now I have my kidding kit ready. And with the stuff I think, you know, I want to have just in case I got some colostrum that you know it's not the same as real mom colostrum but just in case that we have a weak baby or something um, and I got a few other things that I hope that I'll never have to use but they are nice to have around like a lamp puller like a feeding tube for 
a kid and those are the things that I hope that I don't have to use but if something really goes wrong we're about 40 minutes away from a feed store it's not a place where you can find everything that you're looking for um, you know sometimes I don't even have bottles to you know bottle feed babies hey stop it I am not your scratching pole Duke so anyways, um, I am feeling a little better, but I'm still under the weather. I think that soon enough they're going to have to go check on me instead of me checking on them. I'm sure they got it, but um, me, I don't know if I got it. I am still um, dealing with the way I'm feeling and I just, I just want this to be over. So anyways, I, that's all I've been doing. Uh, staying in bed, taking medicine and checking on the goats, uh, getting the kit ready just in case, you know, they do need my help. Now I have to say that I am scared of them needing help, but at the same time I know the kind of person I am and if there's something that needs to be done, I will get it done, you know, and I'm not afraid to do it. Um, I wish I didn't have to, but if worst case scenario, um, kind of the, the adrenaline kicks in and it happens several times and during different things. So I really don't want to be unprepared. I guess that's the moral of the story. I don't want to be unprepared. Um, I want to make sure that I do have everything just in case something goes wrong. And if it doesn't go wrong, then I'm glad I spent the money on something that I didn't have to use. I am not anticipating any problems with the girls kidding. Um, I mean, 95% of goat births are unassisted or really don't need any assistance. But again, because of where we live and how far we are from supplies, I just don't want to risk it, um, especially being sick especially relying on other people giving rides to the kids to town and to do things and to go to work and everything I just feel like it would be one more thing to rely on somebody to get that for me and if a kid you know is weak and needs colostrum you know the best thing is to give it to them within 20 minutes um, you give them the best chance that way but at the same time, you know, that's not even going to be half of the, you know, drive time to get to the feed store. Uh, never mind coming back and getting everything ready to feed that kid. So I think it's kind of a unique situation if you leave out of the way. Um, I have to say that the flies are driving me crazy. They're driving me crazy. And now I totally see why spring is the time to have babies. Um, I just cannot, cannot. I am very proud of my traps. I kind of keep them around to show them off. I'm like, it's like a hunting trophy. Um, I just think they're so unbelievably um, annoying. They're on you 24 seven and even the goats. Like they have to uh, kind of get them out of the way. I am starting to get a little bit worried about Clara. I don't know why she's not putting weight. I dewormed her twice, but I just think that she's too hollow and I don't like that. So as soon as the girl's kid, I am going to, and things settle, um, I made an appointment with the vet. Can you just not chew on that, Mr. Dookie? a naughty boy so I am going to take her to the vet and see what she needs maybe she has some kind of deficiency that it's not enough with the minerals and the feed that I'm giving her and maybe she needs something extra uh, maybe she just needs medicine again flies are driving me nuts so but as of day 143 everything looks pretty good um, girls look how they supposed to like everything it's kind of trying to get into place for birth and um, I just kind of feel bad that sometimes they are 
not understanding or kind of upset or a little bit more vocal which I don't know what it means for them so I think that's it I'm gonna leave them here eating and I'll come back and check on them in about three hours but soft ligaments hollow ladies and the hips but still I don't know I don't know I, I think I'm, I'm looking for other signs and I'm sure they will come in time so that is my update for today I'll talk to you guys either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow bye